Tanisha doesn't hide that life has been hard and she doesn't pretend. She grew up in a cycle of poverty and addictions and abuse and often with, with people that continues. When Tanisha first came, she was very young. Um, she had a little boy that she was trying to parent. He was under a year old. She was just having a really rough, rough time because she did not have any support system at all. I was fighting really hard for my first child and then I found out that I was pregnant with my second and I knew that I couldn't keep fighting for my first when I wasn't fully, fully ready. So I seeked help and I went to the pregnancy care center where they actually were there for me and they told me about open adoption. good family she chose but she still had all the grief of not having been able to parent so it was lots of sadness and I think she had the hopefulness that one day when she worked through her grief and worked through her trauma that she would be able to later in life actually parent a future child but these two she wanted them to have what she couldn't give them I would come back because I felt a lot of support from Barb and I'd meet with Barb and have counseling sessions with her and then I found out about Birth Moms Group. I think I told you my birth son is turning 18 this year so it's like a really big year. Wow. That was really important because it kept me coming back knowing that at the pregnancy care center I had lots of support. You know we've gone through that whole decision-making adoption process with her and now we've been privileged to go through another pregnancy with her and uh, watch her parent. Brayden. Hi. Hi handsome. I learned that I didn't have to be stuck in my past that I could actually set up a better future for myself. I think being at the center and having the supports has helped Tanisha learn how to process some of that pain. And I think Tanisha has come a long way and she has decided that for her child it's going to be different.